In today's video, I'll show you three awesome masking tricks that'll take your videos to the next level in just a few easy steps. Ready to add some magic with these masking tricks? Let's jump right in. Hey, I'm Sanjeet from Wondershare Filmora, here to empower your inner video creator. First up, let's create this stunning transition effect using masks. We're gonna make a building appear piece by piece. Sounds cool, right? Let's see how it's done. All right, start by importing your building footage into the timeline. Now, let's go one frame ahead into the footage and create a freeze frame at the beginning. Now, let's create a fake sky with the rectangle tool. Drag it on to cover the entire screen and select the color to match the sky. You can even use stock footage of the sky if you like. Bring that layer below the freeze frame. We're gonna create four parts of the building up here, so let's duplicate the freeze frame four times. Once you've done that, create a compound clip with these five layers. In there, we're gonna divide the footage into four sections. Now, let's grab the draw mask tool. So go clip by clip and mask out each one segment of the building per clip. Think of it like slicing a cake, but a building and digitally. Take your time to mask out the segments. Once that's done, adjust the layers so that they appear one after the other like this. Animate each mask to reveal the sections one by one. Play with the keyframes to get smooth growing effect. This is where you'll need to take some time to perfect the timing of the keyframing and finesse it so that it looks smooth. You can try using the ease in and ease out options as well. Finally, go back to the main timeline and add a zoom out by keyframing the compound clip to add motion and let it match the flow of the rest of the video. You can even add smoke and other cool effects from the stickers tab to enhance it, along with sound design to make it really come to life. On to the next one. Now let's talk about using masking in color grading, like in the iconic Schindler's List. Ever wondered how to make a specific part of your footage pop while the rest remains black and white? Here's how. Okay, so first thing first, import your video into the timeline. Let's duplicate the clip and put it on the track above and head over to the draw mask tool. You can use the AI smart mask to select the subject. Outline the area you want to keep in color. You can take your time to be precise here. Next, let's desaturate the background. Apply a black and white filter to everything outside of the mask. Tweak the edges of the mask to make sure it blends smoothly and naturally. Check this out! It adds drama and focus to the scene making it stand out. Our final trick is this interesting out of frame effect that's been trending. With just a mask and a basic frame, you can make your subject pop out of the screen. Let's check it out. Import your video and duplicate it onto the third track. Next, use the AI Smart Cutout tool to isolate your subject from the background. The AI makes the step a breeze Once that's done, it's time to add a crop or black bars on the top and bottom that can be found here. Place this on the second track between the two video tracks. It's like giving your video a picture frame. Or you can try out this other simple trick. Simply add three rectangle shapes to your timeline and position them like this. You can click and drag the layer while holding the Alt key to duplicate it to the track above. Locking layers is a good thing to do when interacting with the preview window so that you only move the layers that you want to. Now, head over to your footage. Duplicate the footage onto the fifth track above the bars. We're gonna use the AI Smart Cutout tool and select the bat and ball here and let it do its thing. After a bit of final touches, you'll have a 3D effect ready. See how the subject seems to leap out of the frame? This simple trick adds depth and makes your videos more engaging. It's like 3D without the glasses. And there you have it! Three magical masking tricks to transform your videos. Which one are you excited to try out first? Let us know in the comments below. 
Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos on the channel. Keep creating, and I'll see you in the next one.